Um, all I've heard is what's been on the media, that uh, um, a young boy had been in the river for whatever reason, but unfortunately uh, wasn't able to get out himself and was recovered by the underwater search unit some time later. It's ter absolutely terrible, isn't it? Yes, it's a tragic uh, incident which happens all too often and something we're trying to educate people to uh, stay away from. Uh, open water is very dangerous. Um, if people go in there, then obviously um, tragic circumstances like this can happen. I mean, is the message fairly simple, to stay away from rivers like this? It is, not, not to go into them. The, the side of the river is very nice. We shouldn't get too close to the edge because they can be slippery or they can crumble. Um, but certainly not go into rivers. If people want to swim, um, there's swimming pools, there's uh, lakes where we have lifeguards. People go to the seaside, they can swim in areas there where there's lifeguards. But in rivers such as this, um, very, very dangerous. They're very cold, it's moving water. Uh, and it really is, it's something that people should be avoiding. I mean, you touched on it there, but why, why is it so dangerous? I mean, on a nice summer's day, they, they can look very tempting rivers like this. They can, they look very nice. The uh, top couple of uh, inches of the water can get warmed up quite easily by the sun. Below that, the water is still very cold. Uh, you immerse your body into cold water, um, it zaps your energy, you start gasping for breath, um, and it's moving water. Most people who are good swimmers in a swimming pool, you put them into an environment where the water is moving, uh, and it's very difficult to propel yourself through that moving water, especially if your energy is zapped by the coldness.